This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. I'm playing with the ABC Draco deck yet again. I've made some minor changes to the list, uh, like upping the gadget count and stuff like that, putting in a soul charge, uh, because overall it just seems to make the deck functional. They're triple terraforming, whoa. Uh, this hand's actually kind of really good, except for this gateway to chaos. Uh, but my opponent won rock, paper, scissors, so my opponent is going first. Uh, now hopefully this will be another 20 minute long video, but hopefully it will be a 20 minute long video that consists of three games and not just one. Uh, so that was Subterra Fiendus. Okay, so I'm playing against Subterras. Uh, this deck doesn't really do that much. Um, let's see, does he have the Hidden City? No, he's doing all these things. Does he have final... I guess the only, if he doesn't have the Hidden City, I guess the only thing I have to worry about is, like, Final Battle. But he's leaving this face up. Interesting. Um, Fiendus, let's see. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target a sub -terror. Okay, so that just forecasts that he has another Fiendus in his hand. Um, fantastic. <laughs> like, there's no reason for this to be face up unless he has another Fiendus in his hand, or else he's made a very critical error. Um... So we'll find out which one is that. We'll find out which one that is. Uh, so if there's anything that's going to get Fiendus negated, it's probably going to be the Union Hanger. Yeah. Alright. Cool shit. So there's that. And now I don't have access to Union Hanger for the rest of the turn. But, well man, you're going to love them significantly less because I do not enjoy sub terrors at all. So I'm not going to give you any, any good commentary as far as this goes. Uh, but so this is the one that banishes a monster, right? And this is the draw card. Uh, so I'm just going to resolve all of my Dragonic Diagrams. I'm going to get rid of the Gateway to Chaos here. And I'm going to get uh, Apocalypse. And then I'm going to run it through the other diagram again. And I'm going to use this to pop the C out of my hand and get... Uh, Actually, I need to normal summon the C. Uh, this is a little bit of a problem. No, okay, so this is what I do. I set this, and then I activate Dragonic Diagram, and then I pop it so I can pop his uh, set Umastrix um, to get the True Draco Heritage. And then this will pop the Umastrix, and then I get to normal summon the C, and then I get to play the True Draco Heritage. To, um, to summon this masterpiece. I'm just going to raw dog this masterpiece down. Um, I'm going to draw a card first uh, to bypass. Okay, Twin Twister, that's pretty good. Then we'll activate this. I'm not going to chain Twin Twister, Masterpiece, this, and this into this. No, I'm not going to pop my own diagram. Seems like a bad move. Uh, but I've got two loaded bullets in here for the stuff, so gonna banish this to destroy the stalagmo and then I'm going to battle phase attack with masterpiece over this fiendus so I don't know how sub terrors deals with this actually I don't know how sub terrors deals with masterpiece at all um, I don't know if he's playing the new link monster I'd assume that he would be he or she I don't know I don't know who it is but it's a person who's a fan of my videos so I mean all right cool um, the only reason I'm not typing back is because I've made a rule to myself to not type back. Otherwise, I'm just going to start talking shit to people. <laughs> like, that's that's how that goes. Is that I'll just start talking shit. I'll just start talking mad shit if, uh, if, I, uh, if I'm allowed to type. Because people will start talking the biggest shit. Of like, you think you're cool with this deck or whatever when I'm trying to record. But then they'll just leave. Um, and it's like, well, thought that you were going to try and play, right? Uh, but anyway, so this is unaffected by monsters, so I don't care what I hit over here. If it's anything like, if it's a, if it's an archer and it summons something from deck, uh, oh, it's a glow bulb. All right, well, even less to worry about. Uh, but if it was an archer to summon something from deck, I would just masterpiece pop it main phase two. Uh, but I'm gonna set this because now I can bring back the masterpiece in graveyard on his turn. Um, I still have one masterpiece bullet loaded. Um, that was the most obvious sub Fiendus play I think I could have ever seen. I think I've mentioned that already. I may have already commented on that, but it was just like, you leave, leave that monster face up? Alright, cool. Um, like, it was very clear, but it, it, 
I wish that my hand had been differently structured to where I could play, I could have played around the Fiendus, but like it just, it, it wasn't something that could be done, unfortunately. So he just tribute set a card. Uh, I'm gonna use True King's Return on the end phase to special summon this masterpiece from Grave. It doesn't have its effects, but it is still just a huge body. Um, and so then there's this going on. That's an A Assault Core, so that's something we can start working with uh, in some regard. I could pop it um, to add back C and just start looping around resources. He tribute set that card. I'm not gonna take any chances of that. I don't remember what the, like the one tribute sub terrors even do, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it. What does this do? Um, target set cards. That was literally a non-factor. I'm upset at myself. I did this to myself. I think this is just game though. These are over 6k, and, I, and this should be game. Yeah, should be game? Question mark. Question mark dot jpeg. Okay, so yeah, it must be game. Let's see. Three. 3250 plus 2950, so yeah, that 50 would transfer over, making it 3 th that's, that's 100 points off game, or 100 points over game. 1 or 200 over game. Um, uh, see, so you, you do know you can play people from your Discord? Yeah, I know. I can. I did it once. It became really hard to schedule. So, uh, so there was just nothing that, uh, nothing that I could do about that one. It just became really hard to schedule how to play people with it. Uh, but so I'm going second. So, the Twin Twisters are going to stay in. I think this deck is already pretty well built for going second. That's the thing. Um, I could put in more Cosmics. I could put in the Kaijus, but again, I don't think the Kaijus are necessary. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go with this. The only thing that I would have probably put in was maybe like Magnet Reverse, but I don't know what one card I would have taken out, considering that Soul Charge would probably be the only one-for-one -one swap that I would do there. Um, definitely leaving Gateway to Chaos in, because his deck plays the Hidden City, so if I can Imperial order him on spell cards, then I will definitely do that. Um, so there wasn't anything obvious that I thought I could take out, but this hand is kind of cool because this hand is Dragon Diagram, Pop Gadget, Gadget summons itself, um, uh, Gadget summons Gold Gadget from deck, which then special summons the C from hand, which then can just immediately go into Diamond Dire, and then I can play the Union Hanger and get a search, um, and then Normal Summon that search because I haven't dedicated my Normal Summon for the turn yet. So there's that. Um, what does this one do? Hidden City is going to flip. Let's see. There's a Fiendus. There's a Stalagmo. He's flipping up Stalagmo. Getting draws. Uh, discarding. Another copy of this. What is this? This is the level 8 one? So this is the Foolish, right? Um, yeah. Foolish. Set to Fiendus. Keeping this up. And keeping, thi keeping this one up. Which I don't know if it was summoned face down and flipped up. I kind of blanked out on the on the details. We'll see. We'll see if this card in his hand is a Fiendus or not. But basically, none of these flip effects have anything that do anything to me. Um, so yeah, Final Battle has four effects. Which one are you using to face up position? So he's putting Fiendus face up. Alright. Cool. I can deal with this pretty easily. So we'll destroy this, and I'll get access to the Masterpiece, because I've got the Apocalypse in my hand already. Which means that you kind of have to Fiendus this. Oh, you're not. Well, well then. Alright, so I'll use this thing's ability. Um, final Battle is still set here. You can only activate one, right? Um, or it's, it sets itself, so it sets itself so it's a trap, so it's a reset. Um, so I will special this in attack mode, and I'm going to go to battle phase and go ahead and kill this Fiendus because it makes me believe that he does not have another Fiendus in his hand, um, if this is the way that he's handling business, uh, and then I'll do a Diamond Dire play on the back row, and that will be good for me, hopefully, but so yeah, we'll attack the Fiendus, the Hidden City gets to flip something face down, yeah, oh, it flips his face up, I completely forgot that Hidden City does things with battle phases. Um, change a face on monster, negate the attack. It only negates the attack. Okay. And they just send us, he sent a solemn strike from his Ecto Grave. Alright. Um, so this will still attack over the Fiendus. Thank god this thing doesn't end the battle phase. That would have been really bad for me. Um, oh, misclicked the strike in the back. <laughs> well, alright. Hell yeah. Okay. Whatever happens, happens, my dude. That's how Yu Gi Oh works. Uh, but, so I know that this is a final battle, right? So I'm going to end up probably banishing it with ABC Dragon Buster. 
Um, but I'm going to definitely use this Diamond Dyer here uh, to pop it and pop this card. Oh, it's just another Terraforming. That's actually still kind of good for me to have hit. Um, and then I can activate this Union Hanger, and then activate its effect, uh, and use its effect to equip, or to add A, which will equip B, which will get me a search. Yeah, alright, so this, this works out really well in my favor. So we'll Normal Summon the A, yeah, because I haven't used my Normal Summon this turn yet. Uh, and so this will equip B from deck, and I can then play the other diagram, popping B, to add um, the uh, True Draco Heritage, and then I can summon the, the Masterpiece. Yeah, alright. I can summon the Masterpiece and then draw a card. Uh, so that's that's how we'll do it. We'll just throw all these cards into the play, and we'll make that happen. So Dragonic Diagram here will pop B uh, to add the Heritage, because I can throw this Masterpiece down. The B's effect will give me a search for C, and then... I will be able to. Uh, I will be able to activate this, and I'm going to set the uh, True Draco Apocalypse. Set it. Uh, I'll be able to pop, pop, masterpiece, pop a card, um, and then that should be good for him there. So yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the uh, the heritage on the field. Uh, so we'll do this. No, I want to use the A. And I'm going to leave the A's effect unactivated because I could have added a different card. But if I'd added C, I would have gotten a B search for A. Um, and then the C would have summoned A from hand, and then that would have been, you know, useful. But no, I'm not going to use its effect. I don't know which effect is which, actually. Uh, this is a problem. To the point where... Oh, it's, act it's, it's physically highlighting that one. So yes. Alright, good. They, they both said normal, and I'm like, this is kind of scary. <laughs> this is kind of scary. But thank God if you hover over it, it gives you a point. Thank, thank Lord. Thank the Lord. Um, but so I'll special summon by banishing these. To put ABC Dragon Buster up here. I get a draw with the uh, with the heritage, which is going to put me at two cards to use for ABC Dragon Buster. That's a terraforming. Um, I am going to discard the terraforming uh, because I'm going to get rid of the final battle because I don't want him being able to continuously recur that card. Uh, and then I've got the masterpiece loaded for at least two. I can. Uh, I, it's actually main phase two, so I can't attack over this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to end phase. And in the end phase, or in this draw phase, I will activate my ABC Dragon Buster to banish a card. So I'll discard C to hit this. And then I'm going to chain its effect to tag itself out. So uh, it ends up with a, with a similar result of just clearing the board. Oh, my opponent has left the game. Well then. Okay, so I guess my opponent didn't have anything playable from that point onward. Yeah, sub is just... It's a cool art type. It's a very cool design, and I love Subterra Fiendus as a card. I believe when I did my card review on it, I said I can't imagine seeing a better card going to a worse archetype, and it kind of hurt hurt my soul that that was the case. Uh, but yeah, Subterra is just unfortunately a deck that doesn't really do a lot because of how slow the mechanic is. This would have been an amazing deck had it been released in like the 2005 to 2008 era, or maybe even as late as 2009, because like even GBs was like a deck well past its prime, and it's a slow based deck that operates sort of on the same sort of speed premise as Subterra's does, but unfortunately by 2017 Yu-Gi-Oh standards, it just isn't up to snuff. Even with its Link Monster, and even with the new level 4 that the OCG gave it that's a flip effect searcher, like ultimately it just it doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold a candle to what we have access to in today's metagame, so that's a bit unfortunate. But anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you were the person I played in this video, sorry. I mean, I mean, I, I, I can't really make any excuses for the fact that sub tears as an archetype are just not very good in terms of how they function. Like, I wish they were better. I want to like that archetype so much because their design is great. Their design, their artwork, and their effects are all designed really well around each other. The Hidden City is one of like my favorite field spells I've ever read, but unfortunately it's just not that good. But anyway, sorry if you were the person I played and you end up watching this video. I mean, thanks for the support. You said you love my videos, so hey.
Thanks for that. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. As I've already said, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like this video if you want to see more dual videos and stuff like that. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos of different types and different kinds and stuff like that. And links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support my ability to continue creating content at the rate that I've been doing so, this is essentially becoming my job, kind of. Like, it's becoming something that I'm putting more and more time into. And if you want to support my ability to do that while also getting rewards for yourself, like entry into monthly raffle giveaways for a box or something comparable in size of Yu-Gi-Oh! product, or just access into my private Discord server, then definitely go check out the Patreon reward tiers if that is something you are interested in. And any support is an amazing amount of support if that's something you're interested in and you'd have my thanks in advance. But other than that, special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me over on Patreon this month. You help make what I'm doing here a lot more possible than it would have been prior, and you have my eternal gratitude as I always tell you. But other than that, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I'll see you in the next video.